I am Anil Kumar and now let us practice how to evaluate product of complex numbers. We are taking pure imaginary numbers to start with. We already know that i square is equals to minus 1, right? So let's begin. We have six examples here. The first one is 2i times 3i, then 3 times minus 2i, minus 2 times 3i square, whole square, right? 2i times within brackets minus 3i whole square. This is slightly different from that. Minus 3i times i cube and minus 2i times 3i whole square. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So we have 2i times 3i. Let's begin with the very first one. You multiply the numbers 2 times 3 is 6i times i is i square. We know i squared is minus 1, right? So it is 6 times minus 1. So I could write this as minus 6. So this is what we get. Second example, 2 times minus 2i. 2 times minus 2 is minus 6. And then i. So that's the result. Here, minus 2 times square of 3i. Square of 3i is 3 square times i squared, correct? So we get minus 2 times 3 squared is 9 and i squared is minus 1. So when you multiply minus and minus, you get positive number. 2 times 9 is 18. So 18 is your answer. Next one, it is 2i times minus 3 squared. Let me write minus 3 squared times i squared. So 2 times i minus 3 square is number 9, i square is minus 1. So in this case, you get minus 18i, right? So they are different, correct? Okay, next one. Minus 3i times i cube, okay? So what I will do here is I will write uh, i cube as i square times i, right? That is i cube, correct? Why did I do so? Because I know i square is minus 1. Mm -hmm, that's okay. So what we get here is minus 3 times i times i is i square times i square. I could have written i to the power of 4 also. But I want to restrict myself for the time being in terms of i square. That's the whole idea. So minus 3 times minus 1 times minus 1. 3 negatives is negative. So you get minus 3 as a result, right? Here, minus 2i times 3i whole square means minus 2i. This is 3 square and that one is i square, correct? So you get minus 2i, 3 square is 9, i square is minus 1. So we get what? We get minus and minus is positive 2 times 9 is 18 18i correct so that is how you could solve them so we have taken a variety of examples just to get used to the imaginary numbers and how to multiply them you can now go through some other videos where we'll do more calculations or operations with complex numbers i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best